Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Northside Plow with Pop One Podcast. Here with my boy Grim, man. He came all the way down from ATL to come play in the Pop One Podcast 1K Part 3. Um, he's one of our very valued uh, sponsored members, and we're so happy to have him on the team, and we're so happy that he came down here. He was actually, his flight got canceled, and then he ended up getting here five minutes before the start of round one came in and literally went top eight he almost went undefeated all day until he uh came across michael murphy and we all know how that, that goes <laughs> guy insane <laughs> but grim um you played something pretty crazy you i think yeah. you were the only one playing this today huh yeah i i asked and like yeah i'm the only one that played that today oh well, cool yeah. man uh we're gonna get right into the profile and uh see what you played all, all right, right grim so what'd you play today all right for this event, I decided to play Adventure Token Synchron. It's a deck that I've been testing three months prior just to try and learn the combo and everything. And uh, then when Doom came out, then that when I stuck in really serious and learning the new combo and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing for the past, I think like two, three weeks after National of the NAWCQ. And uh, I've been doing pretty well. Uh, it's a scissor card uh, pile, so big one. Yeah, big one. Okay, <laughs> big one. Uh, I, I tried playing 40, 45, even 50. Uh, 50 was like okayish, but uh, uh, when you play less than that, I just feel like there's so many uh, cards you want in your deck to spread some out jump uh, speed. Uh, uh, and you don't want to really draw it. So for my monster, I play three revolution synchron. This card is amazing. This yeah. card make me like the fact that you can make a black rose with this with just a none to another level four on the field, and it got the graveyard effect as a global. It's so good. It make your play like so much good and there's there like a lot of different combo you could you could do with this this card and the uh, right or uh any of the right engine or even the reborn tengu uh like this and reborn tengu is full combo really too Very nice. so yeah so you got one of them quarter century rares in there yes too. sir a lot of people like to see the, the oh, rarity oh that looks so nice <laughs> uh, next one is i also play triple jet synchron um synchron is also another good uh two card combo with right two uh you make your uh, unaffected junk speeder uh with just a right and uh jet synchron the, the fact that you know it got a graveyard effect so it's, it's real really good uh and you make you you make a lot of play with just adding like one level up whenever you synchro summon so sometimes you just want that level uh that one level up Next one is probably the best engine in the deck, which is the Water Enchantress. It is it's so good. There's actually uh, so many different combo with just this and the, uh, most of the Synchron that you play. It's a good engine even going second. So first and second is amazing. Second, you could kind of break board. You got your own spell card, that bounce card that control to remove threat before you go into Junk Speeder. So it's, it's really amazing. Another engine that I also play too, which is three reborn Tengu. Okay. Yeah, this one, like I mentioned earlier, with Revolution Synchron, you can make Black Rose, you can make Ancient Fairy Dragon. There's a lot of level eight um, synchro that you can make with this. And the fact that you could, this and Revolution Synchron is like full combo too. Like there's, there's so many full combo, uh, two card full combo in this deck and it just even if you up and up with it um it's n it's okay it's not even that bad and the other one that i'm trying out is three fenrir there's they're not a lot of combo but you know cash is still a good deck so i want to uh respect cash by playing fenrir to bait out or try and get rid of the arise heart Mm -hmm. um, and also, it's a non tuna It's a big body. It could remove threat off on board, uh, cause this deck lose to back row deck. So this is another spot removal too. Plus it's level seven. So, um, 
Summon Dance and then Normal Summon Revolution Synchro and Barrel the Floor. A Jet Synchron, you can make Omega, Ripple Card, and then spell summon the other Fenrir that you just added. Um, and then you could use the Jet Synchron and Grave to make another level 8, so two level 8 through that. It's just really, really good. I'm taking out three Cerevis. Uh, three Cerevis is mostly is to protect my Junk Speeder from being targeted, mm -hmm. but also is uh, I want to add some type of like interruption. Like my my fear was playing uh, going second and playing Hand Trap and um, playing into Talent because I don't want them to rip my hand because. A lot of this card is not one card engine, it's a two card engine, so if they real one of your other um, uh, combo piece that you need to combo off, that really hurt. So I didn't want to, like, I could use this to be, uh, to counter any of their target, their Rise Hard, their Book of Moon, and stuff like that. So, and it's not once per turn, and also, even if you're under Rise Hard, the Shifter, you can still activate this like any, most of the Ghost Sister. Uh, you could uh, activate it by ban uh, by sending it to the banish since uh, a rise hard and shift the you know uh, it's a micro cosmo effect so it doesn't stop the like that uh, that effect uh, most of my synchron which is double starters this is the card I I love at two because it's like the perfect number and uh, this card you don't really want to draw it most of the time. It's, it's okay, but it's not really that good drawing it, but you you need to just to have at least one in your deck if you up in the other one to uh, To combo off and to make all your play like a lot better To um, Assault Synchron, this is amazing too. It's like the the best level 2 uh, Synchron tuner you can spell something out of Junk Speeder and the Graveyard Effect Dragon Synchro Get banish or uh, get tribute. You can banish it, put something in the back. That's actually a lot of time when I combo off. When I use a sort, uh, a sort synchro star dragon, tribute itself, bring out the star dragon, and then sync off uh, on resolution. I banish this to put something back the sort synchron back on the field. And drawing it is not that bad too. Like even you draw this and uh, what do you call it, one enchantress. That's level 5 right there, 2 plus 3, 5 for a Junk Speeder. I don't know if I'm going to play 3, I'm not sure yet. But I'm still in the testing for, uh, phase. The one, uh, Wheel Synchron. Wheel Synchron is kind of weird, but for some apparent reason, this card helped me a lot. It's the fact that you could, when you Synchro with it, you could make it as a non tuner. So, um, there was against someone I forgot he was a good player too I think it was Kobe short but he banished my junk speeder cause he know junk speeder only spell summon all synchron tuna with different level but the fact that even though this a tuna when you synchro with him he could make it a, like a, a non tuna so you could start uh, synchro climb and stuff like that uh, he, I don't think he know that you could treat it as a non tuna he thought that banishing my junk speeder and resolving this I'm just gonna have a bunch of tuna I can do nothing with but this card saved me a lot the graveyard oddly enough it it helped when you have weird hand weird hand you just want to make a level 8 synchro or something like that or a uh, high level you banish it to decrease it up to 4 um, and then just make it enough where you got that and the other synchron tuna to make a junk speeder to go off. So it's real enough. And it's like a double summon. Uh, while it's on the field, once per turn, I could normal summon level 4 and lower monster. Any monster. Don't care what it is. Very uh, cool. Yep. And it's you say. Come on. You get <laughs> <laughs> other one is Stardust Trail. Stardust Trail is, is, is one of the combo piece and it's really good. Um, Spell summon a token when you synchro with with it making a Stardust monster or one, a warrior or synchron or Stardust monster. You get a level one token with the combo. You usually spell summon this and that's a level four or not too. And I usually make a teacher hybrid librarian with that and a jet synchron and to make that because a uh, a good. I don't have many level four non tuna, so that is also another one that. Uh, I usually make 
librarian or excel synchron other one is your other adventure package monster which is Griffin Rider and Illegal Knight both are really good I love Illegal Knight um, so it's just in the gate double bounds most of the time when they go for uh, when they go for sale board I usually summon this double bounds give it to them then uh, Drake go back target this back back to my hand for next turn um, when they try and do something, I just put something just for my hand and do another double bounce to interrupt them. Which is very good. And then the other one is my Magician Soul package. Uh, I wasn't playing, but I do notice a um, couple of my hand when I up and start the Synchron, I need a level 1 nun tuner to go into Junk Speeder that doesn't, um, that doesn't normal summon. So the only other uh, thing I could think of is Mag Magician Soul, but this was iffy today. Um, there's no way to such this. I, I don't play hero and stuff or prep uh, preparation to such this. So it was a, if I draw one this, then I just specimen or stuff. But the fact that it's unsearchable uh, and six a card deck, I don't see it that often. So I, I should have taken it out because like. Star Synchron, even though you open it, this is unsearchable. So the two co two card combo is very less likely. But like I said, I'm still testing. That's all for the monster. It's 28 monster in total for my spell. I play three on your market set duel. This card is basically another tuning, but it's such any Synchron monster, not just tuner, but even carrier which is a non tuner into it um, and then each of my standby phase I get one signal counter and I can send this set itself off on the field and two signal counter on my field to basically draw two send one card from the deck so it's like a mini graceful charity I played triple tuning hey. it's such a lot of my uh, combo piece and it's not once per ton and sometimes that one meal is really good sometimes you meal amazing water enchantress any of the synchron you could use in grave next one is three over tech synchro take it's like fusion deployment but a uh, real, real jet warrior to spur summon a jet uh synchron either from my uh either spur summon from my deck or grave or i could add to my hand but it's a, like a it's an extender so you don't have to use a normal summon to extend to make a speed and stuff like that next one is your adventure token yeah. broken spell y'all should already know what this does and most people probably hate me or think i'm bad for doing this there's a guy on this call he's pretty popular with uh doing synchron engine and we we talk about this a few times he and a couple of couple people on discord does say that like i'm just weird or i'm bad or whatever but i play three faithful avengers <laughs> okay <laughs> i gotta ask why <laughs> okay so like it's just six of card deck like okay you got three one chances you got three right you got foolish burial okay but then this itself if you up in any like if you up in like any of the spell to such a specimen the level one because this gets uh this could add a non level um for non tuner so you just make a jet speeder if not that you could add one enchantress discard another card and then if you have a sort synchron you normal summon one enchantry, you spell summon assault synchron, there you go, two plus five, I mean two plus three equal five, and you can make assault, uh, I mean junk speeder, so it's, to me, I haven't, I haven't had no problem drawing, there's a few times I draw like two, but most of the time when I draw two, I discard one, or I just use it for the illusion of magician soul food, or I discard it with jet synchron, like it, it doesn't matter to yeah. me so yeah my next one is three book of moon it's mm. so versatile it's very good and of course y'all y'all probably looking at it like man this this guy is because this is all three cp book of moon you know how much they are I'm like yeah they're up, 
I, I love it when I draw it with TG Hyper Librarian or even up and over there. It helped me a lot today. I was playing three of this, but I decided to cut down two because I do not want to draw multiple of it. Um, but I played two talent. Because um, okay. since I'm playing the combo deck, most people are going to try to stop me by doing hand trap and stuff. So I decided to like rip the card or if I um, don't... Uh, don't have like I, I need a draw to hopefully get into my other pieces uh, to start my combo then I do that or sometimes I just take to bait out their stuff it did good to me only one time I drew both of them which is I lost that game mm. uh, yeah cuz he never activated monster effect um, so it was just kind of dead in my hand and plus I up a mediocre so it's like really not that good yeah. two only two droplet um, I still like this, um, even though a Rise Hall and Shift are still out, but if I do play against that, I, I easily side this out for this stuff. So I play against Infernoble, the guy that won the whole event. He uh, connected me, looked at my hand, saw a droplet, two of my uh, get set ready, do Assault Synchron and Reborn Tengu. His only target is to rip the Assault Synchron, so now I got Reborn Tengu. Two spell and droplet. I drew into another one. He made a board of like one spell and trap negate and a monster negate. So I have to like activate the spell, search out a synchron, which is revolution synchron, and summon reborn Tengu. And then after that, I like droplet, send spell and trap, negate both your effect, and then reborn Tengu, special mm -hmm. another reborn Tengu. And I was like, oh, look here. I made a synchro into Asian Fairy Dragon. And then from there, I spell summon Reborn Tengu, my third Tengu, and then I just mirror the top, spell summon it, and go into Junk Spear and go out. Two was good for me. Another combo uh, piece uh, for the Starter Synchron package. You use you search this out with Star Synchron, and then you just activate this to uh, spell. Most of the time, you make a Starter uh, Dragon or your Excel Synchro Stars Dragon. So you could, instead of foolish uh, burial your uh, trail you spell summon it as another uh, non-tuner um, non-tuner food for your synchro play so I play synchro world oh synchro world is um, it's my only target to search for crimson uh, crimson dragon mm -hmm. it's a uh, few spell none of the effect is once per turn uh, it can affect every time you synchro summon actually is it every time Actually, every time a synchro monster and synchro summon, even your opponent, you get two signal counter. So, you remove four to level modulated by level one uh, on any monster you control. You remove seven specimen any tuner from grave, or you remove ten to specimen synchro from grave. When you have two on your uh, on your market set duel, uh, you could activate this and uh, use to the signal counters because this say remove two signal counter on the field not itself but on the field so the moment you single summon at least one time you get two signal count you can remove two signal counter and this send to a graveyard to draw two and send one card from your hand to the grave. Draco back is your only target for your brave token package uh spot removal and just really push burial mostly for the one enchantress but if anything you got a good couple target like your synchron, any of your most of your synchron, um, jet jet synchron, wheel synchron, assault synchron, star synchron, and revolution synchron. So it's you have a good amount of target. Cover our grave because I respect draw and draw somewhat hurt this deck depending on where they draw me. Mm -hmm. um, so that and also if I play against any deck that I know they main or side shifter. Cause you don't want to get shifter, even though I got shifter like three or four times today. But the first time I got shifter, I OTK him. I don't yeah. know how. Yeah, <laughs> <You're crazy. laughs> yeah. Well, I decided to play Duster just because this event. I know there's gonna be a couple back row on fifth round. There was like four labyrinth yeah. player in the top eight table or top four table actually. I like that thing. So, yeah. uh, it's really good and uh. It's just good against like road deck and uh, lap red trap and deck. I only play four trap which is three and permanent mm -hmm. that's my only hand trap 
Then I played the one uh, Manadium reframing for the visa target to such basically like an infinity barrier to negate a uh, dark ruler or any card that you want to gain and all you have to do is just control a synchro monster on the field. First one is Excel Synchron. Like I say, there are some play you could make this uh, with the uh, Stardust Trail. Uh, and since you make this, it's a Synchron, you could put some in level 1 to token and you could level module like this to try and synchro with the level 1 token to make whatever synchro you need at that time. And you know, the doing your opponent main phase or battle phase, you could synchro it off. Whatever you send, it keep that level like forever unless it get book face down or removed from the field. Uh, second one is Excel Synchro Star Dragon, very good. Spell summon any level two or lower two enough on your grave. Doesn't target two, so I don't know a lot of people know that, but when you summon activate and they like if you got at least more than one target in your grave and they call by the grave one then you still spell summon the other one, whatever. Doesn't target and then this is the card that make your junk speeder uh, unaffected by card effect if you up and right or one enchantress with um, a jet synchron or overtake. Um, ancient Fair Dragon because I do play one field card searchable and it's also act as an extender so there are two, two things an extender because you can spell summon a level 4 lowers from your hand um, to uh, synchro climb uh, and extend your play. Also, the other one is it's a level seven light, so that's a combo with that. I'm gonna get at the end that you you need light monster to make. Baron, Baron D4. Everybody should know what this card is. Really good, broken. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> other one is Basil Dispater. Uh, you can make this. You can hard make this, or you could cheat that out with Crimson Dragon. Some this, and after you make your Star Synchron or your Star Trail. Uh, or your assault synchron to when they get banished you can put something back to further extend your play and it's also an interruption too uh, for your opponent if they activate a monster effect this is one of the new card right here this card really good crimson dragon is uh you summon you such any spell trap with crimson dragon attacks and then you could cheat out so many different level 8 and I mean level 7 the higher dragon synchro so like I say you could cheat out this painter. uh you could cheat out you know your excel synchro stars dragon uh crystal wing which I'll get to next uh ancient fairy dragon black rose dragon like that's that's a lot this one is your crystal wing synchro dragon which you could cheat out uh, or you could hard synchro this it's also monster okay so sometimes you if you make your unaffected if you still worry about like hand trap or something like that you could just make the junk speeder with revolution synchron into this so it protect you having monster gate for uh, if you're afraid of hand trap before you make any of your other synchron climb formula synchron is usually for the magician soul illusion um, play with Jet Synchron or if you summon Jet Synchron or level modulate Excel Synchron into level 1 you know, with the level 1 starter trail token to make Formula Synchron. I haven't summoned this but they come up a few times so I'm still in testing with this. Jet Warrior mostly because it's a Synchron overtake target especially on uh, uh, Jet Synchron. And you could you could hard make this so and it's not that bad too. You summon this and it's basically like uh Drago back. You talk to one of their cards, bounce it back to your hand. And uh it got a great effect too. So you can triple any of your level one or level two monster but some of this. So it's a level five non tuna. If you need a level five non tuna to link climb higher I mean not link climb, synchro climb higher than whatever synchro. MVP of my deck. Junk speeder. Let's go. Yeah. This card, without this card, this deck wouldn't wouldn't be very good and stuff like that. But it's uh, you you summon up as many synchron tuna. I spell summon four, three, even five, and then after the moment you summon that, 
you, you start, you know, start playing with yourself. Just start <laughs> <laughs> literally just build your board, okay? Build whatever board your deck is meant meant to do or build. And I don't know if do a lot of people know this. Like, if I go second, I resolve Junk Speeder. When I attack a monster, it hits attack level. But that's just something. Star frame Lord Omega is something I go into quite a few times. Uh, and it's also another way if... Because you do use your extra deck a lot. So sometimes the graveyard to shuffle back extra deck. So you could summon them back again. Does come up. Um, hand ripping is also another thing too. So there's multiple combo. You can make this. Rip a card. Then uh, dissipate a summon him back. Rip another card. Uh, my only level 6 synchro with the star charge for you. You summon. You draw a card. You know if you go second. They have a lot of small body. Um, you could just attack all of them that spell summon and just attack because he had 2000, 2000 attack. Uh, most of the combo you just summon him just to get that draw. The OG Stardust Dragon. Mostly you summon this off with Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. There's a few combo line you do hard make this too before you make the Excel Stardust Synchro Dragon. Teach you how to play Baron, Broken Card, it's that one for a reason, and it is you a synchro, synchro climb deck. You summon him, and you start synchroing it out, you're gonna draw like, don't know how many cards, 5 plus card, <laughs> you know, 10 card, whatever. Last card is the other new card, Visa, um, and Ritara, well, I probably mispronounced that last <laughs> time, to be honest, but he's very good. First of all, he's a level 8 warrior. He's a tuna too, synchro and tuna. And when summon, you search for your trap, your counter trap that I play one of, mm -hmm. just to protect yourself from dark ruler or whatever card that uh, you worry about. He also have another effect where you could pop any monster you control. And all your synchro uh, monster, it gain 800 attack into the end phase. Uh, just something if you got be over a high attack monster or just enough to try and OTK or something like that. He's very good. I really love him. My side deck, I'm actually going to keep it a secret because it's very spicy. There was, there's, there's like a few combo that I came up with that I, I, I didn't see no one else done. I look on YouTube and on Discord, never seen or seen uh, or people talk about combo, but I came up with this. This is real, real good. And I like, I got a few event coming up. I do want to play this deck again, and I want to keep it spicy. So if you see it, you're gonna like, wow. Well, very cool deck, Grum. I'm glad you uh, got to show us and a really good insight on the deck as well. You know, yeah, L running us through it and uh, what every card does and all that stuff. But um, you came down here, you showed out, you represented Pop One well at your very own tournament. You know, yeah. this is your tournament just as much as everybody else's. But I, I really appreciate you coming down and traveling down here for us. Uh, I know it's a, a night. It's not too far away, but you know, yeah. it's it's a, it's a it's a little minute away. And uh, came down here and, and did your deal. Um, you got any shout outs or anything you want to give out? Yeah, first shout out to Pop One, my team, uh, my sponsor team. They are they're the one that. They're amazing. They're the one that host this event, and I appreciate every single thing that they do for the event. Uh, they even picked me up from the airport. I, I couldn't ask for more. Like they they did so much for me. Like to be honest, I I felt like it was too much. Like I, I <laughs> like it was too much. Like I don't know, do I deserve this much of like love and stuff like that? But they they were really really good. Shout out to. Um, Two, two of the other guy, they, I never, nobody ever asked me this before, but they came up to me and they literally just asked me, like, I want your autograph. I'm like, I'm no celebrity, <laughs> but i like, dang, like, you asked me for an autograph. i like, you okay. Are here, right. You are here. You've been very yeah. active in our Discord server and everybody really yeah. knows who you are, man. So, it, I mean, everybody could not wait to meet you. So yeah, there was a lot of people that wanted me. That, that's also another thing why I want to come down here, because there was... A lot of people I want to meet because they, you know, they love me and like, you know, I know they talk a lot about me. So I want to meet them because there was a lot of them. I, it was my very first time to meet them too. So yeah, it was very fun. We have a fun time. 
You got to uh, duel some uh, really big people too. Oh you yeah, went up against uh, uh, Kobe Short, uh, yeah, Trevor went, Palmer. Yeah, you got to uh, hang out with Jay Watkins a little bit. You know, shout out Team Pandemonium. They were oh out there. yeah, Team Pan- Pan- uh, Pandemonium too. Uh, when I was uh, at the event, I was like, I told myself, or I told some of my uh, friend, I'll be like, that's a few people in here that I really want to play. And usually, I'm the type of player who, like, I love playing against people that's good, mm-hmm. better than me, and stuff like that. And I get to play three out of, like, my seven or eight lists of people that I want to play against. It was good. Two of them I lost to, which I'm not <laughs> mad or anything like that. But, hey, that did good, but... None of them too old me though, so I got <laughs> this good win of a good fight. <laughs> yeah, man, it was so fun. Brian, he played uh, Cash Kira. Uh, I'm sorry, Brian, but uh, yeah, I too old you. <laughs> uh, round two was against um, Kobe Short. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the guy I do want to play against because uh, I heard s- some stuff, and he's a real good player, so. Yeah, multiple uh, YCS topper, you, you know. Yeah, he YCS topper. He's a, he's a, yeah, he's a name. Yeah, and he was playing Bicycle Dragon League. It was 2-1. The third guy I played against was Brent. Or, and he's the guy that won the whole event. He played Infernoble Knight. Which is nuts. <laughs> yeah, and it went to game three. Uh, I was his only loss uh, oh, really? at the whole tournament. He went 5-1. In the six round swiss and they went undefeated in top and won the whole thing. So I I asked him, "What's your toughest matchup?" And he say it was me. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay," <laughs> because I was his only loss. Four was against Joseph. Mm-hmm. He played. I thought he played Vanguard, so but he played Lambert. Yeah, I won the dice roll, so I went. I went first, go off. He couldn't really stop me. Game two, he kind of break. He set three back row pass, and in the six card deck, I open up my one of the duster, and oh, if you've seen, if you've seen, uh, uh, the Europe national, uh, Europe national. Yeah, you're acting like you're playing Rico. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you open that duster against Labyrinth. They they gonna look at you like, you got, you got it. You're gonna you know? be a feather duster fan, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joseph. You know. It was kind of unfortunate, but it was uh, too old. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my second opponent I do want to play against was Michael Murphy, round five. One of my uh, team member. He played Cold Talker Math Man. First time playing against that deck, and uh, it went to game three, and I didn't up and up that well, and he got his engine. I didn't got my engine, so it went, it went to game three, and I lost. But yeah, and also uh, congrats, congrats to him. He was the only undefeated after six rounds with. So I, he's I was insane. a man. My, yeah, yeah, he's, he's insane. just insane. <laughs> yeah, my last round was against Vanquish. So um, I, it went to game three, and he went first main board, and then my turn. I cosmic. Uh, one uh, one of his back row bait out the other back row, so I'm at seven thousand life point. Then I resolve my jump speeder and make some plays. Search out the field card, make ancient fairy dragon blow up the field uh, uh, field spell, gain one thousand back. So I'm back at eight thousand and set up like four in the gate. Okay, for his turn. His turn it was like under four minute left. He's the he trying to burn me with uh think one of the big. Vanquish Soul guy, and I negated and destroyed, and he couldn't find any other way to inflict damage to me or burn me, so it went to a draw. My top 16 match after that, uh, I was placed 6 after Swiss X11. Um, so my top 16, I played against Florian Ruiz, um, and uh, I, he went. I'm trying to remember. No, I won the dice roll, so I went for the combo off. Uh, he couldn't break it. He he break a little bit of it, but couldn't break my whole board. In game two, he break. So unfortunately, like he, you know, it break to itself. So that does happen. So that's 
kind of unfortunate. My top eight match, my third guy that I want to play against was one, one of the good member. Yeah. Trevor Kama. Like he's he's insane. I yeah. he been topping so many different events, top wise is two hundred fiftieth wise is and everything. So it was one person I do want to play against, and uh, he played Cash Tira, and uh, it went to Gen Three, and it was back and forth for a little bit, but then he got the upper hand because I couldn't stop uh, one of his uh, monster. I couldn't be over it. Or get rid of it, and eventually he started building advantage of, and he overcame me. So I was like, yeah, he's a beast, man. Yeah, he's, he's a, beast. a beast. That guy's a beast. Man. <laughs> yeah. But shout yeah, out that's... to Good Gaming. Oh yeah, shout out to them too. They are amazing. That's my top eight, and you know, top eight get this beautiful match. The yeah. Pop One Podcast top eight right here. Very nice. And it's the dude. only time you can get this too. <laughs> <laughs> and you got it, man. You came yes, down here, and shout out, dude. Well, I just want to say thank you, Groom. It was such a pleasure, and uh, we love having you down here, man. And I'm sure we will see a lot more of Groom in the future. Yes, sir. All right, man. Appreciate it. All right. See ya. All right. Peace.